Hi guys, this is Lila. Welcome to my channel Lila Web Dev. Today we are diving into readable web streams in the browser and how to stream data from a custom Node.js server without using the Express.js. I will try to use it. So we will implement a browser side Fresh API that reads a stream chunk by chunk and build a custom backend that streams data using Node.js built in HTTP and also stream module. Let's try to build this one step by step and by the end you will be able to stream text like a pro. So normally what is a readable web stream? A readable web stream let you consume the data chunk by chunk as it arrives without waiting for the whole thing to download. It is perfect for streaming large text or JSON data, real time data feeds and reducing the memory usage in the browser. So we will fetch from a server that, ends, that sends data slowly and display it live as it streams in. So let's try to create a simple server. So I will be creating here a server.js file. Okay. So let's try to create this one. So file server.js file. So here I am creating a simple simple thing. And in this one, so let's try to require HTTP is equal to require of require of HTTP. And we'll be and we need a readable. So readable is equal to require of stream. So fine, right? So this is what we will be having. So let's try to create a server. So these all things don't need to worry. So we will learn about this one also when we are learning the HTTP. HTTP dot create server request of re response. And here if request dot URL is equal to is equal to slash stream. Okay. Then we need to do the logic. So here we need to implement the logic. Let's say that uh, we will be having a words in such a way that constant words is equal to. So here I will be having hello subscribers welcome sorry welcome to okay leela web dev so let's see that this is the data which we want to send it so this is the words let's say these are the words which i need to send it to the stream so fine so i'll take let index is equal to zero okay so here I am creating a stream server. So for this one, what I can do constant readable is equal to new readable. So you can also use it like this also new readable. And here I can use the read method. Okay. So this is also another way of how we can implement it. Instead of class also, you can do it like this also, not a problem. So here what I will try to do if index is less than words dot length. Okay. If it is less than means then I will try to take the constant words is equal to so here sorry constant word is equal to so here I will take words of i plus plus so this is what it will happen is so it will take the zero value and it automatically it increment it okay so now i plus plus or otherwise so something like uh, not i plus plus index plus plus so fine index will be updated now what I will try to do here I will try to push set time out of and here I will push after some time that is nothing but this dot push of this dot push I will push the data that is nothing but word and that to one second so for every second I will push it so if index is large there means then I will push the null this dot push of null that's it so this is our simple server okay and here after pushing this one all what I need to do so here here right so readable is finished so what i want to do here so let's write right response dot right head right head 200 and here we need to do content text less spring and also here we need to use the transfer transfer encoding not binary it's a chunked chunked okay and the another one which I want to say to tell it is access. Okay, access. Access control error origin star. Yeah. So this is the data which I want to send it. So here I will try to push it to the yeah. enter, enter, enter. And this one also enter. And here I will try to close this one. And here also this one also I will try to do it. Yeah. So this is the right head and now what I would be trying to do so here I need to send the data so we got a readable and I would be trying to send it 
through pipe of press so the response is nothing but our uh, writable stream right so that's why i am writing that one that's it so if if so if there is no nothing is there means so then for example let's say that if you are having nothing is there means so that means if the url is something else means then what you will try to do response dot right head of not content 404 okay so you can say whatever it may be you want have so just i will try to send it as in 404 and i will try to end the stream so response dot end and not phone that's it and here what i will be trying to do so we got the server server dot listen of port port is nothing but here 3000 and console dot log Oh, this one should be listen here i will be trying to write console.log listening on the port so this is our simple code which i am trying to write it so now if i try to uh, now let's try to so we haven't used the just native node.js have written it we simulated a delay with set timeout to mimic the streaming and we have used this transform transfer encoding chunk ensures that the browser knows how uh, knows to expect a stream so now let's go to the go to our uh, browser file that is nothing but fetch.html so in this fetch.html so what i would be writing it so we will be writing the code so html okay and here i will be writing uh, okay there is no need to write here so let's go here write the script code so here i will be writing so just i will take h1 here waiting for the stream and let's try to write the script okay so this is the script code which i will be trying to write it so now here let's say we will be having uh, uh, let's say that we will uh, we'll be having a function so just we'll create a function a sync function stream the text so this is the function simple function so let's try to take the response response is equal to like this and that is also stream so it should be listen to the 3000 okay so we got the response so this response if you try to see it so let's try to run this one so here uh, we are having this one right uh, node server.js file so let's say I'll stop it and cls node server.js file which is listening on the port 3000 fine and here we are having the response so let's try to console.log of response okay let's try to see the response and if i try to run this one run fetch.html okay so this is waiting for the stream so here let's go to the console and here if i try to refresh the page enable so what is this okay i am not calling the stream text right so let's try to call the method stream text okay let's see the output for this one so if i try to see the output for this one let's see the output for this one so we are able to get the response okay and the response dot body it is a readable stream so fine right it's a readable stream so now if you want to uh, readable stream means so if how can you read this readable stream by using the method that is nothing but get reader so let's try to do this one so here we got the response so here constant reader is equal to response dot body dot get reader okay so i would be getting the reader so we got the reader now what i would be trying to do so let's try to take the output also output is equal to document dot query selector of <coughs> output we got the output so first time the output dot text content is equal to sorry is equal to empty so first time i am creating uh, removing this one all. so now here while of true so now when i am trying to inject so here constant done so you'll be having two values that is nothing but none comma value and here i will be trying to await reader dot read so let's try to check the console.log value console.log value of value so we'll try to show you what could be this value okay if done is there means just we need to break it if done then break that's it so let's see the output for this one so if i try to refresh this page so here we should be able to see it is coming as an unit eight array so we are getting the data as a unit eight array and it is it will break some for some time okay so this is the unit 8 array so that means it is something like a uh, binary data okay hexadecimal representation of this binary data so what i mean to do unit 8 array 
so we need to decode this one so for this we decode in our thing what, what i will be trying to do it is so here i will be using constant decoder new text decoder i can use the new text decoder and we got the value okay so we got the value and here i can write in such a way that output dot text content plus is equal to so i need to add it so here <coughs> decoder dot decode so it by or otherwise you can also use the decode sorry decode stream so we also have a another method that is nothing but decode stream so we don't have this one okay fine so decode stream decode of value and also i can use the option something like stream true so that it will be it is expecting the stream that's it so then afterwards so when this one is completed so when this while everything is completed then i will try to tell stream is complete fine let's see the output for this one so if i try to show you the output for this one let's refresh this page and here if you try to see hello so here you will be able to see hello subscribers welcome to leela webdo and the stream is complete so if i try to refresh this page again so the streaming is coming so it's like this you will be able to get one by one the data so response.body.getreader gives us access to the stream we decode each chunk and update the ui live the user sees data as it arrives word by word so that is the thing so when you run this node server and all the things so you'll be able to see it so before uh, wrapping up just a few lines of code you implemented we have implemented a native streaming node js server we have used the web streams and the fetch api okay fetch api to consume the data in real time and deliver a responsive user experience so that is the thing how we will be doing the node js so here we have we are we are creating a just a simple api which is streaming the data and here we are trying to get the streamed data that's it guys if you like this don't forget to hit like subscribe and share the video so if you have got any questions drop them drop them in the comments below thanks for watching and see you in the next one